water. We're going to be talking about antioxidants for a few minutes today. The benefits of antioxidants are very well documented. They benefit your health, they benefit healing, and they actually benefit anti-aging. Some very well-known antioxidants are blueberries, I'm holding some here today, and green tea. So I thought it would be very interesting for us to test some green tea today. But first I want to talk about what an antioxidant is. An antioxidant helps to neutralize free radicals that are in your body. Free radicals have to do with oxidation. Oxidation can be the equivalent of rust. Rust has to do with aging. Um, free radicals have to do with aging, sickness, and disease, and antioxidants sort of attack those and neutralize them. So I want to see if we can make an antioxidant green tea even more antioxidant. So I've made two today, and I'm just going to switch them around here a little bit. One of these I made with regular tap water, and the other I made with alkaline ionized water. And they're both from the exact type, same brand of tea bags. And I'm just going to do a test here and see what differences there are. I'm going to turn this on. And again, I've switched them around so I don't even know which is which, but I believe that we'll be able to see with our meter. This is a standard ORP meter. And ORP is the measurement of antioxidant. For something to be antioxidant, it measures negative. And this, as you can see, is currently about a 79, and it's jumped back and forth to 80. Now it's at 77, 78, right in there. So I can tell you, with even having switched them around, this is going to be from tap water. Technically, this isn't even an antioxidant, even though we know that green tea is. I want to see if we were able to make the green tea more antioxidant by using alkaline ionized water, which is a known antioxidant. So let's go over and test the other water, other tea, pardon me. That one's dropping right away, 49, 44. We'll just give that a little bit of time. The other one, as you could see, was not dropping. It had pretty much standardized within a couple points going back and forth. This one, we're down to now a negative um, 11. We're still dropping. And I believe that very shortly, we will bump into the negative. There we go. Well, at the moment, we're only about a negative 6 and dropping. You'll see that this is actually antioxidant. And this will begin to remove toxins from someone's body and be able to uh, help the body in healing. We're at a negative 28, negative 30. And I won't keep you too long to see. This would continue dropping for some time, possibly even to 100 and uh, negative 100, negative 150. Um, but you can see that it's negative. The other one uh, was not. I'll just give it another minute here. We're at about a negative 50. Let's go right back to the one that was tap water. And again, I didn't have to remember which was um, tap water and which was from the alkaline ionized water machine, the chance in water ionizer, because we're able to tell right here. This jumped right back up to positive. It's very quickly going up. We're at a 46, 48. So even though green tea is very well touted as being an antioxidant, at least for today, and these were both waters, they were both, this one was poured from the machine, this one was poured from the tap, nothing else was done but putting the tea bag in. So you can see your best choice for an antioxidant from our testing today was tea made with the water from the Chance and Water Ionizer. We're back up to a positive 64 here. So I hope that helps you have a wonderful day. For more information, please visit www.chansonwater.com.